Hello everyone, how are you today? It's Kay. So this is a recorded video. This is recorded on the 19th of August 2022 on Friday. And uh, this is a video series. The theme in August is about my strategy, KTS, Case Trading Strategy. And today I will show you how I enter trace the entry timings and confirmations. So I hope you enjoy the video until the end and learn something new from today's video. So let me switch screen. So this is the theme in August actually, as I said before. So in August, I'm actually uh, doing some videos, the video series about my own strategy, which is called KTS. So today's video is about entry timing. So every week, um, Tuesday and Friday, I do these videos. I started to do these videos from August this year. And every month, I cover different topics. And this is, today is about this topic. So, uh, let me start. So before starting here, as, as a quick disclaimer, as usual, uh, the contents and also what I say on my YouTube channel is basically for educational purposes only. So when you take trades, please do at your own risks. And also, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines on the chat, that would be great. Also, there are so many scams in fake accounts in social media of mine, so please be careful. Okay, so let me switch to a PowerPoint slide. So here is a lecture uh, schedule. Since the 5th of August, I have covered these four topics. And today's topic is again about entry strategy. And about the entry strategy, I get many questions on the email, also comments on YouTube. So hopefully uh, you get the basic understanding of my entry strategy in this video. Because if you once you get this idea of my entry strategy, then um, you will be more understanding deeply about my future um, explanations of my entry timings. In, my, in the future markets. So again, just to remind, just to um, just to make sure you, you get you get this concept right. So so um, I divide these six time frames into three categories, and one is the big time frame or um, higher time frame. This is about the major trend direction. So once I capture either daily or the four hour time frame is trending, then I go down to either one hour or 30 to confirm it. And once I can confirm the trend, then I go down to M5 or M15 to look for an entry timing. Okay, so, uh, and I do this by Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So basically, I use um, from daily time frame down to 30 minute time frame, I use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo to capture the direction by Kumo and Kijun Sen mainly. And as for the entry timings, I don't use Ichimoku actually. I use other indicators and lines and price actions and so on. So um, I use different uh, strategy. Besides Ichimoku, because Ichimoku is a bit lagging on these lower time frames. I was using a part of Ichimoku strategies like Kumo Breakout or Chikospan Breakout for the lower time frames. If you follow me a couple of years ago, I was using these strategies also. Um, but I, I decided not to because um, they gave me some fake signals, fake uh, entry confirmation. So. I decided not to use Ichimoku anymore on the lower time frames. So, um, as for the entry timing, I use these tools. So that's here. Oh, by the way, this PDF you can download for free. You can click on the below description, um, look for the KTS webpage, and you can download this PDF for free. So, um, today's uh, I wanted to cover. All these I can cover every single uh, trading edges one by one on this video today but um, you can find some of my entry timings on the previous videos and I will I will also show you 
where I, you can find these videos. But um, just, just to uh, clarify, so I use the price action, which is from Sakata Goho. Sakata Goho is the, um, the one of the original in candlestick price action analysis uh, in Japan. So basically, I use Sakata Goho price action. So I use head and shoulders, double top, double bottom, pin bar, engulfing inside and outside a break, and doji break. So basically, I use these um, price actions to um, to uh, whether enter or enter uh, the market or not in the five minute. And also, I use the lines. I use support, resistance line, a trend line, counter trend line, and Tokyo box breakout. And also, I use the Bollinger Bands. I use Bollinger Bands squeeze or expansion. So I use these. I use the Bollinger Bands, uh, two bands, two Bollinger Bands. The settings are uh, period 20 with uh, deviation 1 and 2. But let me show this one on the trading view. So let's see. So here is the trading view. And um, so I use two bands. These are the Bollinger Bands. And as you can see up here, I use two Bollinger Bands. So one, I use the um, length 20, the period 20, and deviation 1. And the other Bollinger Bands, I use the same period 20 and deviation 2. So you will, you can, so that I can see uh, two bands in the chart. So that's my Bollinger Band setting. That's I use also. So I use squeeze and expansion. And then stochastics. I also use stochastics settings percent K, percent K 30, percent D 10, and throwing 10. And that is my setting. So if you can come down here, you can see stochastics indicator down here. And this is my setting here. Person K 30, person D 10, and slowing 10. So that's my setting on the stochastics. And I only use stochastics and Bollinger Bands on the lower time frames. I don't use them in 30 or above time, above time frames. I only use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo for higher time frames and entry timings on the lower time frames by the Bollinger Bands and stochastics and other confirmations. Yeah, and also um, I use the Fibonacci retracement and expansion. So basically, I use all these tools and combined uh, together and look for the entry confirmation. So when you just hear this idea, you might think it's, it's kind of uh, difficult because it's kind of complex because there are all many, so many tools. You may not know about the Tokyo box break or you may not be familiar with the stochastics or some uh, price actions. But um, this is actually very really simple. So um, let me show you some of my entries uh, on the live market. So I actually took uh, some trades yesterday and today. So let me show it to you. So um, yesterday, I took a trade on the pound. Hold on. I think it is, uh, yeah, this one, pound USD. I took sell. So every time I entry, I enter the trace, I make sure first to confirm the trend based on higher and the mid time frame. In this particular trade yesterday, I took the H4 trend and H1 trend. So H4 as a uh, higher time frame confirmation, it was down trending. I took it. And also H1 was downtrending too. So I took these two confirmations by Ichimoku. And then I was looking for the entry chance in the 5 minute. And for the 5 minute confirmation, I was seeing scar 6 dead cross. And also band walking. And then engulfing breakout. So basically I, I found these three entry confirmations. So I enter the cell. So every time I enter trace in the five minute, I use, I take three, at least three confirmations among these indicators and confirmations. I don't simply pick one or two 
to trade. I combine three confirmations and enter trades. Because I used to use only one confirmation, let's say when I see double top and when I see double top and um, the market goes down, I used to enter the trade just because it broke the support. But sometimes, you know, it just goes backwards and it hit my stop loss. So I was always finding how to avoid these fake signals. And my conclusion was to combine these entry confirmations with other confirmations. That's why I started to take three confirmations. And then, um, yeah, I can uh, exactly see how the market goes afterwards. And more importantly, I know where exact to exit. Which I will talk about the exit timing in the future video. But um, yeah, so I take at least three confirmations uh, from this list and enter trades. And that's why every time you see, them, you see my trades, uh, there are three confirmations. So again, in this trade yesterday that I took pound USD, I took the stochastics, dead cross, and band walking, and engulfing breakout. So let me show it to you. So here, hold on, let me open original and so that you can see the bigger picture. Okay. So uh, yeah, in this screenshot, the red vertical line is where I took the sell. So I took sell here because first I saw dead cross in stochastics. Again, my stochastic setting is 30, 10, 10. And 30, 10, 10 dead cross happened here, which was one of my entry confirmations. And also I was seeing the band walking. Band walking happens here when the price is going down along with the division one, two, that's called the band walking. But well, technically the price was below division two when I took the trade, but it's okay still. You can see, still take it as a band walk. So that was my second confirmation, band walking. And also engulfing break. As for the engulfing breakout, there was engulfing break at the top here. I was seeing this, this is called the inside bar. This is the inside bar breakout. And also, if you look at the past chart, there was also an inside like this way. There was also an inside, and this inside was broken bearish. When I saw this breakout towards major direction, downtrend here, this was a, this was the right entry timing. So uh, that's why I took the sell here. This is my sell position. Um, yeah, and this is about psychology or the trade mindset is that um, so there was a nice breakout and band walking and stochastic dead cross exactly on this candlestick over here. So you may wonder why I didn't take the sell here, but I took the sell here. And my answer is that I happened to open chart here, exactly. And when I opened the chart here, then I saw these three confirmations in the past, and I took the sell. I executed the sell here. So I don't usually monitor the chart for a couple of hours during the day. Simply, I open chart three times at least per day. Sometimes I open chart five times. It depends on my schedule, but usually, I open charts three times per day and I screen charts from higher time frames to mid time frames. And when I open the five minute, and when I happen to find three confirmations, when I open the market, then I take it. So, ideally speaking, I, I think the exact entry confirmation was made exactly on this candlestick. Again, there was a Dead cross to classics, band walking, and also this uh, support or engulfing breakout exactly happened on this candlestick. So technically it was here. If I was running a tester, forex tester, I would be placing sell here. But practically speaking, on the live market, I'm not going to be there always. 
So I happened to open chart here and took the sell over here. So that's a little bit of a tip about my trade psychology. So it's like, that's why I say it's like a catching a taxi. Like a, when you are looking for the taxi and when you go on the street and if it's not there, then simply come back home and come out on the street a couple of hours later to see if there is a taxi. If there is a taxi, then you catch it. Otherwise, you wait again. And that is my trading style, trading psychology. So, anyways, I found three confirmations exactly on this candlestick. So I took sell. So again, like this, I don't take sell just because there was a dead cross. Or just because there was a band walk. Just because there was an engulfing break. I don't take sell. I always look for at least three confirmations. If there are more, more than three confirmations, that's okay too. You can take uh, six, five or six confirmations from the list over here. But the important part is to not to take one single confirmation for the entries. Yeah, because uh, it was my big mistake. I used to take only dead crosses in stochastics to follow, but it failed actually. I failed and I was wondering how to avoid these fake signals. Especially in the lower time frames, it gives you so many fake signals as you may know already because lower time frames will be chop choppy. So I was using only one single confirmation and fail, and that's why I started to take multiple confirmations at the same time. Yeah. Also, I took another trade today. On Friday today, I took the trade on this one, it was on the USDJPY. Um, yeah, so USDJPY buy. I took this trade uh, entry, or well, actually entry confirm, trend confirmation by the H4 and H1. So on this one, I have the screenshot. So here, this is the screenshot when exactly took the trade. So H4, four hour time frame was up. If, if you can remember my strategy, uh, I, I do look at the Kumo angle, single span B was up, A was up, and Kijun Sen was up also. And if you look at the one hour chart, one hour time frame, um, Kumo was up also, and Kijun Sen was up. Tenkan Sen was also pointing up, and Chikou span above candles, both in one hour and the four hour time frames. So this was a perfect entry timing for me. So I was looking for the entry chance. I, I saw the five minute and I happened to be at here. Actually, I opened the chart one candlestick before. I saw this nice breakout in the five minute and I confirmed the close of this five minute candlestick. And on the next candlestick, I entered the trade. So that was my entry timing here. So I took the buy here. And I put the stop loss over here. I took the 37.3 pips of stop loss. And as for the entry confirmation, like I mentioned on this Discord, I took this, uh, in this case, I took the band walk. Band walking was happening. Also, there was a Fibonacci bounce. 38.2% bounce was happening here. Because I was seeing this bullish in the wave. Like this and I want to see if this bounce was valid or not and I found this valid because it was a 30% 38.2% bounce that was my second entry confirmation and also counter trend line break there was a counter trend line this one counter trend line breakout was happening and it made it became N wave bullish so I was seeing that it was bullish continuously so 4 hour was bullish, 1 hour was also bullish. And so M5 should also be bullish like this on the bullish in wave. So that was my expectation. That's why I took the buy here. So it may be traced back. You know, but it may be traced back. But uh, the idea is that as long as the 5 minute goes up continuously on the bullish in wave, you don't exit. Because higher time frames are bullish, and you know 
uh, lower time frames sometimes they go backwards against your direction but eventually goes up on the bullish waves so after the entry it actually went backwards but I kept holding and uh, hoping that the market goes up towards my direction on the bullish wave so that was my entry confirmation so but like this the idea is to find three confirmations out of the indicators and the price actions and the, and the lines confirmations like this and every time I enter trades in this manner yeah I never took the trade based on one single confirmation or two confirmations I always look for three confirmations every time I enter trades so that is the idea of my entry strategy which is a topic for today so if you would like to know more details about let's say token box breakout or the counter trend line breakout the Bollinger bands or scar six then uh please come to the web page of the gts actually you can find the link below the screen you can come to the web page and scroll down all the way then uh, you can find some live trades live trades of mine here so you can uh, watch these videos and see more examples of my entry confirmations and how I confirmed these entry timings. So, and if you wish to uh, learn this strategy of mine, then uh, you're always welcome to join the G GTS group. The GTS is Global Training School and the next opening starts in October, December, and it happens every three months. So once October class is finished, then the next one open will be January 2022, sorry, 2023, and it happens every three months. So yeah, you're always welcome to join the GTS if you are interested. And this Discord is actually from the GTS group. In the GTS group, because I teach my strategy here, I share every single trader of mine and also my spreadsheet um, so yeah so that um, you can learn based on my analysis and how I took the entries and also exits so that was the topic for today so um, yeah next week on Tuesday I will talk about the exit strategy how I exit uh, in what timings I exit and how I exit the mindset of the exit strategy I talk about so uh, please look forward to that video and uh, when I see some uh, nice, nicely trending markets and good setups then I will be taking some live trades in the live in YouTube also so hopefully you can keep following me and uh, continue to learn uh, from my YouTube channel so again thank you for watching until the end if you liked it please press the like button and I will see you in the next one. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thanks so much.